Hello to the Grace Lutheran Church family and everyone beyond. We are all God's children. That means we are all related. Thank you for joining Pastor Ben and me for children's worship today. Let's go ahead and get started with our welcoming song, which is, Here We Are, Gathered Together, Praising God, Whose Love Is Forever. God's love is a treasure for us all. Sharing God's love is our call. Pick up a scarf, something that you can wave around and dance with. Here we are, gathered together, praising God whose love is forever. God's love is a treasure for us all, sharing God's love is our call. All right, now it's time for the theme song, which is based on the tune Sur le Pont d'Avignon, and it goes like this. La, 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 la. I didn't give you the words because we're changing all of the words. Let's go ahead and get started. Jesus taught forgiveness. Say that. Jesus taught forgiveness, though it isn't always easy. Though it isn't always easy. Forgiveness, 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 forgiveness makes room for the love of God. Makes room for the love of God. Let's try that. Jesus taught forgiveness, though it isn't always easy. Forgiveness, forgiveness makes more room for the love of God. Second verse, Joseph taught forgiveness. Joseph taught forgiveness, forgiving his 11 brothers. That's a lot. Forgiving his 11 brothers. Forgiveness, 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 forgiveness makes more room for the love of God. Makes more room for the love of God. Let's try that verse. Joseph taught forgiveness, forgiving his 11 brothers. Forgiveness, forgiveness makes more room for the love of God. Last verse. I can teach forgiveness, I can teach forgiveness, sharing hope with those around me, sharing hope with those around me. Forgiveness, 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 forgiveness makes more room for the love of God makes more room for the love of God. So in case you hadn't noticed that last line of each verse, forgiveness, forgiveness, makes more room for the love of God is the same for all three verses. All right, pick up an instrument, something that you can play, maybe change how you play it. I have a triangle, I can tap it. I can run it around like this. I wonder what you're going to pick up and play with. And if you're at church, there's some instruments over in the children's section. Remember that to keep everyone safe, if you're at church, you need to think these words in your head and sing them on the way home. Let's get started. Jesus taught forgiveness, though it isn't always easy. Forgiveness, forgiveness makes more room for the love of God. Joseph taught forgiveness, forgiving his 11 brothers. Forgiveness, forgiveness makes more room for the love of God. I can teach forgiveness, sharing hope with those around me. Forgiveness, forgiveness makes more room for the love of God. Forgiveness, forgiveness makes more room for the love of God. Thank you all for joining me for music. And Pastor Ben is next. I wonder what he's going to talk about. Know that I love you. I hope you have a grace-filled day. And here is Pastor Ben. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, 
They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh, it's so true. Jesus loves us very much. The Bible tells us that very thing. It is so wonderful to worship with you today. I am so happy that we get to spend this time together. Thank you for checking out Children's Worship. I have a whiteboard with me today because today we get to talk a little bit about something called forgiveness. Forgiveness is a really important thing we hear about in the Bible. We hear Jesus today talking about forgiving others, but we also get to hear this story about Joseph forgiving his brothers. Sometimes we think about forgiveness like, like this. If uh, someone does something bad, or if someone hurts you, we can forgive them and just say, hey, it's okay, don't worry about it. And we can just get to sort of wipe everything clean, right? Have you ever heard that before? Well, I suppose that that's true, and it is really important that we be able to forgive others. But the story with Joseph and his brothers is kind of amazing. Today we get to hear about the forgiveness, but if you remember the rest of that story, Joseph was trying to live his life. He was trying to live his life in love with his family in peace. In some way, I would always, almost say that he was trying to write the story of his life in love and peace and family. He had dreams and he had hopes for his life. But then his brothers got really angry with him. And remember, they, they beat him up. And they sold him into slavery, which is such a terrible thing. And once he got down to Egypt, he sat in prison for two years. It's like they had messed up the story of his life. Now, this isn't quite so easy to wipe away. I think it would be hard for Joseph, if he ever saw them again, to really forgive them. But today we hear that he did. He saw his brothers and he loved them and he forgave them. So he did wipe everything clean. But it wasn't just so that everything would be clean and tidy and easy. I think it was so that he could start to write the story of his life again. In life and in love and with family and all these wonderful things that he wanted his life to be about. See, sometimes when people hurt us or when we hurt others, it's okay to say, hey, you really hurt me, and that's not okay. We need to make sure we never do that again. But when we can forgive others and truly say, it's okay, I forgive you, we wipe the slate clean so that we can keep writing the story of our lives in love and in peace and in kindness and in goodness. It isn't always easy to forgive others but it does make room for God's plan in your life. And I know that my writing doesn't look very good this morning, but we definitely want to forgive others so that we can leave room for God to help us write a story of love and kindness in our lives. Let's pray together. God, we thank you for the story about Joseph forgiving his brothers we thank you that you have forgiven us. We ask that we might be able to forgive others and that they might forgive us so that we can write stories of love and peace and friendship in our lives. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that you have a wonderful week.